Okay. This one appears to have no major impact damages that I can see. This package is from New Jersey. And I'm not sure, I'm just guessing that it's probably a Numicron clock. Now this is different. It's like some kind of a uh, cushion material. bubble envelope. And grocery bag. But yes, it is a Numicron. Okay, this is a model 700. Television clock. Bubble wrap. Yes. The only flaw in the packing that I could find is when they packed it, they had the cord like this right in front of the face of the clock. Very bad idea for anyone that packs something like this in the future. This could push on and crack this or sometimes the rubber in the cord will actually make melt marks. Always put the cord like this on the bottom and if it does melt the plastic, because the rubber versus the casting or whatever type of plastic this is, they can react with each other. This is in very good condition. Manufactured in November of 1954. This is a Model 700. It's one of the most common clocks. Manufactured from 1950, I believe. They made this one right up into the mid-60s. Okay, it's had a new cord put on, but the cord's kind of extra long. And it's white. I'm probably going to replace this with a brown cord, just because it looks better. It's got to be like a... Eight or ten foot cord on this thing. And I'm going to plug it in. Lights up. Let's see what happens here. Fully functional Numicron clock. The lens is kind of fogged. I'm going to have to rub it out. The paint's worn off of some of these digits. Very nice. Now what I've got running here for this weekend, I usually pick three clocks each weekend, Friday night to Sunday afternoon, and run them synchronized. 
And these are three of my latest Numicrons, all cleaned up and polished. And they've stayed exactly synchronized since Friday night. I'm going to back up and let you see all three clocks flip together. Got ten more seconds. Yes, they are still synchronized. This is the wooden Saith Thomas. I still got to refinish the wood, but the clock is done and working. This is a uh, television model, model 770 from 1971. I got rid of most of the burn mark. The lights are working. I'm running single element LEDs. It just gives it a nice, very, very light glow. Nothing too beaming. And then this one is an F7 time meter. And this might have been a first orbit. There's a little bit of a decal residue underneath the clock there. Maybe it'll show up. Let me turn the light on. And this one I got, th uh, I believe, three element uh, LEDs, which give it a really nice bluish tint when it's darker in the room. And those are the lights off and the lights back on. There was a bad scuff in the face, in the lens, and I spent a lot of time, but I got rid of just about all of it. It really looks good now. Let's just see the bottom there. F7 from the ninth month of 1967. Like I said, this one, the face is a little like scratchy looking. I gotta rub it out. And then I'm gonna lube this one up and service this guy. The Numicrons.